right, so this is my ultimate desk setup or my dream desk setup that I decided to spontaneously start building out three days ago. So let's rewind the clock back three days ago and almost 72 hours of straight work ago. Here is what my desk setup slash office space looked like before. And a lot of you guys have burned me pretty hard and rightfully so for my terrible to non-existent cable management. So with this new desk, I wanted to make a seemingly cable-less desk setup. And thus the floating desk idea was born. So my friend and I got to work on constructing this impossible floating desk look, which with his brilliant Rain Man-like mind and my wit, was an easy task. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. This floating look is insane. And I think it's really hard to show on camera how crazy this actually looks in person because it really is floating and you need to bend down really far to even see the beam that we used for support. The next step was to make you guys proud of me and earn up to my prior uh, lack or flaws when it comes to cable management and find a way to basically manage all of the cables. The beam underneath the desk worked really well for this, but if you don't have a beam, you can just put the stuff that I'm about to show you on the underside of your desk. And what I did first of all was to glue these multi-socketed outlets or whatever they're called onto the beam which meant that I now have power outlets very easily accessible. Then I basically used a mismatched concoction of cable ties and door hanger hook things to organize these cables. These door hangers actually worked quite nicely, although there was just enough hook space to fit all my cables. I also used some cable clips just to keep all the cables in place. The important thing is there are no visible cables right now. So one of the goals with the space was to add a lot of different plants. And this is something that I've looked past in the past. I never really thought about it much, but ever since like starting to add more plants to my apartment and to my office spaces, it's always made it feel just that much more comfortable and just homey. It increases the hominess feeling a lot. And it actually gives a little bit more oxygen to your spaces and it helps filter out the air. So 10 out of 10 would recommend plants. And the first thing that I put up was this ivy plant above or in the middle of the window. Then I mounted some shelves and put up a marble queen, which will hopefully grow and drape very nicely over the shelves. Now, since I also do YouTube and create these YouTube videos, lighting my spaces is extremely important, especially like creating this sort of soft light that you see behind me, because that looks really good on camera. And luckily, what looks good on camera also tends to translate fairly well over to what actually feels comfortable or cozy in real life. So first I mounted a Philips Hue light strip onto the beam underneath the desk, which I've been really impressed with. Didn't really think that it would be able to produce the amount of powerful light that it actually does. And then I mounted some cheaper Delta Co light strips on the back of the shelf boards to add another touch of light there as well. So selecting the lights that I wanted on the top of my desk was really difficult, but I settled on these like this light bulb or this round ball thing and these like candle looking things that I think that you can see. Yeah. And these again produce this like really soft and nice looking light that works really well on camera. And they also have Philips Hue light bulbs in them, so I can change the color of them if I want to, to make a different kind of look to it. Once this was taken care of, I started to add the tech. First, we have my classic monitor mount that is a no brand one that you can find pretty much anywhere. Then I mounted two 27 inch 4K LG monitors that have really good peak brightness, which is again important mostly for when I film my monitors. Then my keyboard and my mouse. And underneath, I decided to put a mouse mat from Sateki, and I might trade this for a larger one at some point though. And then to the right of my monitors, I put a Monstero plant, which is probably one of my favorite plant species. And to the left, I put in some sort of looking plant not sure what it is then on one of the shelves I placed this part of a deer jaw that I found a couple weeks ago when I was out looking for moose on the actual desk we have my wireless charger pad that I literally use all the time so I always thought that like wireless charging was just a bit of a gimmick but that's until I started using this because ever since I started using it I've been using it like I said all the time next I bought a new mic arm which is a lot more sturdy than the one I used before and on it I have mounted a Shure SM7B mic which is what I'm recording this voiceover on right now. So the desk chair that I use is a Hog Capisco chair. And uh, this is something that I both like, I like it and I also don't like it. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's sort of comfortable, but also not comfortable at the same time. So yeah, not really sure how I feel about it quite yet. I also bought a new gaming slash relaxing chair that is meant for the next part of the setup, which is 
the TV that I bought and decided to mount on the side wall of my desk. This is to have a dedicated station for gaming or just relaxing and watching TV. It was really important for me that it had this ambient light feature to again add some more interesting lighting to the space. And I didn't want to fall short here either, so I bought these cable tracks or things from a hardware store to use to hide my cables, which looks super clean and was really easy to use. Then I put in my heavily worn PS5. I know that sarcasm doesn't really come across well on audio, but to my shame, I haven't used this all that much. But now that I have this set up and a place to actually play it, I think that I will spend a lot more time less consumed by distractions and more focused on decreasing my lack of playtime. Hopefully you were able to follow that. So yeah, that is my dream desk setup or the ultimate desk setup. And I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. And I'm also completely exhausted from just building it all out. And now I just want to start like enjoying it and especially trying out like gaming and all that sort of stuff. I have been working just a little bit on, by the desktop and it feels really good, especially like having the window in my face, like that just adds another level to it that I really like. And it also looks really good on camera. So yeah, uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope that you enjoyed seeing this little build out of how it all went down. I don't know. Anyway, I'm too tired now. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.